Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, yeah, we've got all of our mechs repaired. I figured we'd just go ahead and do it. We have enough sea bills for the end of the month, so I'm not worried about that. We went ahead and we put in, uh, if we go to the base real quick here, we went ahead and put in the, um, where is it here, the tracker sensors into the direwolf, uh, just so that we get a better chance at longer ranges to hit. Hopefully we can get a lot more headshots in this next battle, because we are going to go over to the command center, and we're going to straight up go after a mission here. We're going to do a favor to regret. Uh, get some more rep with um, Clan Wolf here. We've almost maxed out our rep with Wolf. We're doing pretty good here. Current rep fraction is 85. We should get about, I think, 10 or 12 for this one. But anyway, it's uh, high tonnage. Local government lance is making a landing. So we're going to just basically intercept them and destroy them. So we're going to go full salvage on this. Making 518. Let's hope we don't take that in damages. Uh, but we'll get 11 rep. So that's not bad. So let's accept this. And we're going to go ahead and pull off. Uh, we're going to bring you down. This is the AMS mech. We definitely want that in down here. Uh, one of the archers. I think we're going to switch out. Um, I'm wondering if we should leave the arrow mech out this match. Simply because this is really good for base and city stuff. Let's just, I'm going to go this route again, this match, and try this. So we got to get Gundal in here and Mastodon and then Workhorse. So we're going to go this route. Goofy's back in the, his regular night gear. Uh, still Direwolf, Lone Wolf. Yeah, so I think we're good here. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. This is the second time I've come down here. Uh, it may not be the last. I want to make sure that all of our mechs are, can move. Because the last time we came down, the Orion was stuck on a rock and we couldn't move it forward. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Ooh. Um, let's pot shot him. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, so the uh, we didn't have contact the last time we came down, but we do this time. Um, no shooting, just it's probably going to be 20 to 1. There's four lances up here. One lance is going to be coming in as reinforcements. We've got to get up the hill as fast as we can. I'm just trying to say the same thing as I said last time. And then move over to the left or over to the right here so that these guys don't get a direct line of sight on us. So that's the goal. Get up this hill. So we're just going to punch straight through these guys. Uh, let's just try. I want to try for a kill on this guy early. So we're going to use the ammo. Even though it is a bad chance to hit. Okay, you're way over here. Um, let's get as far as we can go here. I think probably... Yeah, we're not going to bother with you. Not going to bother with you. So I don't know whether it's going to be easier or harder than the last one. Like I said, I didn't engage anybody the last time. So I have no idea what they had. Yeah. Need to get our AMS mech up here. Here we go. Yeah, now he was here before, but we were able to jump off. So let's switch this over to uh, overload. Wow, that's pretty damn good jump. I forgot I added the extra jump jets to this, or the uh, whatever they are, the improved jump jets. Um, don't want to be too far forward. Let's go right here. And we're not going to shoot. Yeah. They ain't getting close. All right. Um, the other contemplation was moving up on this side too. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to move forward. Open up on this guy. Okay, so it's a little better than the last time. This guy's got his immunity right now, but we'll fire with all this. Okay, one large. That's about it. Not even the tag, eh? All right. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in yeah, thanks for that. 
So I'm really hoping we can get this heavy goss and the rack in close. We can shred these guys. Well, in close is like a, just a little closer than this distance. Probably like a couple hundred meters. 200 meters is probably somewhere in here. This is a thunderstruck. All right. Not too worried about these guys now because you know with the um, with the thunder missiles they they are deadly but with our AMS we should easily be able to shoot them down. Fingers crossed. All right, whatever that one got, whatever that guy was, got to go. Heavy LRM carrier. LRM carrier Mark II. Arrows. Oh. Reporting heavy damage. Where's that guy? Oh, it's the st it's the uh, stealth bomber. Wait, where was the red line? Oh, it's back here. Okay, let's just get up here. Moving lightning fast. You're Lightning McQueen, 13%. Stealth Bomber probably be way less. Yeah, 1.9. So, uh... 22? Um, sure. Start on him anyway. We can get some lerms on that guy next turn, I think. Gundaw with the peeps. Let's get up with the PPCs. How far up can you get? There we go. Bustana. Bustana. Oof, really? Well. If we get one, we get one. So there's really no chance of pulling the centurion down, but that's fine. Once again, it's going to be these long-range vehicles that kill us here. Minimal damage on that hit. God damn it! The sheer volume, man. Ballista. Well, let's hope we can use our tag barrage and that stealth bomber though. I think he's got like over 600 or 800 hit points. Doesn't say. Well, he's got a lot of hit points, I think. God damn it. I'm losing a lot of armor here. Warning. Armor low. I'm more concerned about stability. Another self-propelled. God, look at that. He's got 1112 armor on that thing. Ugh. All I need is fast-moving, long-ranged vehicles, and there's nothing we could do about them. <laughs> I know we're bunched up, but there's not much I can do right now. There's only one avenue up here. Jesus. Not much armor left in that location. <sighs> Warning. Armor low. Reporting. Major armor loss. That one was a bad one right there. Not much armor left in that location. Thing is they don't need to see me, right? That's the problem. I think we're going to sprint it up. We got to get up here fast. We got to get in a direct line of sight. I hope it's not punishing me for having to reload. That's kind of 
I wonder what 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 there would have been in the last the last uh, match. Oh, good! You shot your own guys. I appreciate that. Okay, good. Oh, good! It's phase two. A lot of our guys have to walk now. What was that back there? It's a long time unit. Looks like yeah. Okay, I think the stealth bomber's got to wait before it can fire again. Commander. Moving. Okay, well we got eyes on pretty much everything back here. Jagermech, Atlas, Atlas, Bushwhacker, Shadowhawk 2C, Atlas, okay. We're going to overheat, we'll leave the medium laser off, uh, we're going to Warlord this, confirm, Ra wind the rotary up, let's see if we can get make this Centurion a Centuri off, here we go. Now, do we hit the stealth aircraft? That's what I want to know. I think it's too far back to be hit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we got him. I think he's outside the range there. Okay. How are you doing for stability now? Okay, down to one. Standing by. Let's move forward and get stable. Yeah, man. Demolisher. Ah, uh, do I want to shred this guy? Talos. 27 on this guy. 304. On. Yeah, not a lot. Hoping to take that out. The LRM boat. We can deal with the LRMs. We can shoot most of them down. They're pretty much hitting one mech, but the long time's hitting everybody. If we could take that out, that would be nice. Ready for orders. Let's fire and then maneuver. What do we got? 28 on this guy. We'll take it. And firing. Yeah. On my way. That's fine. My heat sinks can't bend fast enough. Yeah, just relax. Trying to spread out a bit too, here too as we move forward. Uh, I'm gonna wait. He's fortified. Overheat, eh? Let's use our warlord then. Are we still going to be overheating? It doesn't matter, eh? Really? Yes, Commander. 
Thought I would have dropped the heat. Christ, they're all friggin'. Yeah, they're all long range vehicles over there. Lost them back. What? Aye, aye. Holy shit. Really? Can't believe one of the archers is gone now. Damn it. This is not going to go well, guys. This is not going to go well. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, just hang on. With one range mech on, we could be in a lot of trouble. If we cannot, if we can't get up and push this hill and take it fast, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. That, was a bad one, that, was. that looked like it was direct fire too. Oh man. Think I'm gonna have to punch in and withdraw? We got three turns to wait. If our situation has not um, stabilized within that time, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Let's get rid of this uh, Centurion, if we can. Beautiful. That's the atlas on this side. We gotta push this hill. Moving at full throttle. Gotta do it, I got no choice. Well, two small ones hit. Okay. <sighs> Another atlas back there. That's what, three atlases now? 
well, if we survive this, I mean, we could take an atlas and sell it for parts to fix all our shit that we're going to have damaged. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. All right, here it comes. All right, what next? Who's next? That was you, Gundal's gone, Infiltrator. Oh, I think these guys go first. Yeah. Um... Okay, no matter where you go, it's flames on the way, huh? Fire report demolisher. God, look at the heat, eh? He's the inferno bastard that's burning the shit up of everything here. Um. Thirty-seven. So let's just do this. Okay, not bad. Commander. Coordinates. All right, uh, 13, huh? 18. Twenty three on the stealth bomber. I don't know, man. We might get lucky here. Let's just do this. Yes, Commander. On my way. Double time. 
Got to get the AMSs up there. Okay, where's Infiltrator? It's right here, right? It's Dallas. Where's Infiltrator? Back here? Yeah. See if we can finish up this guy this turn. Can't even get a shot on him. Oh, we can from here, though. Uh, that'll save us a bunch of heat. All right, let's fire these. Is that enough? Nope. Good damage, though. Good damage. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, I'm liking our spacing now. We're a little better off here. I mean, it's still not going to help versus that uh, Inferno Arrow fucking demolisher. Pardon my French. Mail. Um, let's... 608... Yeah, we're all taking damage. Okay, we gotta take out this guy this next turn. Hopefully get enough damage on that Atlas to make him stop from moving. As long as we can keep keep applying damage to this guy, he's taking good damage in the leg here. We might be able to sweep the leg. If we can sweep the leg, then we don't have to worry about him too much. He is a melee mech, pretty much. Um, Talos, the stealth bomber, I'm worried about when that guy's going to shoot next. Carrier. So, th this support vehicle, we can take that out. Hit this guy hard. Yeah, good. We're See, we're spreading out. It's not so bad now. Got to relax. Still got to wait two rounds. Did that vehicle take damage from standing in fire? Yeah. Damage minimal. Where did he go? He's up over here. Like, if we can get into direct fire range with these guys, they're going to be in trouble. That's that stealth bomber. Yeah, well. It's better that it happens at the end of their turn. So that at least we can move before most of their guys get a chance to shoot again. That's ridiculous how it spreads across all these guys. Come on. Losing armor. That one tag me good. I can't take much more of this. Alright. Not so bad, not so bad. Hellion's going to go first. Oh, Gundal's going first. Oh, Dallas. Dallas still got to go. We want to try and take a shot at that guy? I don't think we can get anybody else. Oh, yes we can. Oh, yes, we can. Let's go this route. Firing. Confirmed. Beautiful. 180. Alright, one hit. That's nice. Take it. Starting to apply some pressure now, which is a good thing. It's about time we did that. Okay, they're down three. So like I said, well, that, so that's one vehicle we don't have to worry about next turn. So let's try and get this Atlas and long range will be on the car that uh, LRM carrier. It seems to be doing a lot of damages. A lot of damages. A lot of damage. 
You can get out of this goddamn fire. Whether he's not moving because he's got instability or because he's got overheat. Either way, we've got to keep shooting him. I think I'm going to try and get Lilu Dallas to pull his leg off next turn. We've got two, well, an LRM mech and a half plus an ATM mech to hit this guy with. This guy here, 2C, I don't know. Don't want to stay down here for too long anyway. guy didn't even move, eh? Okay, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to save some of these missiles for later, but we're going to go after this leg, see if we can sweep it. See ya. That's more than I could have hoped for. Let's get in the trees over here. I copy. Get our stability back. Heat's starting to drop. Beautiful. All right, Gundel, you're free to do some damage on something else now. The heat is crazy, man. What's this guy? That demolisher, eh? God, only one hit at that, at that, really? I copy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, penetrated. Solid connection on that one. It's gonna overheat us, eh? Stay still. They weren't really looking at you last turn anyway, so hopefully they won't look at you this turn. That's that other demolisher, probably. Maybe? I think so. Okay. Got a Lerm 40. ATM 30. Some heavy direct fire, which... Okay, he's backing up. It's nice. Yeah, no, this has got to be a, uh, this has got to be a shredding affair. See if we can take this guy out, firing everything. Good damage. That's the fire support one, right? I was going to shoot on the LRM vehicle, but if we can take out Ali G here, we're going to do that. Or at least try to. You can't back up. It's way into overheat, eh? Gotta do it. We gotta keep our guys under cover here. Yeah. Starting to cook. Heat damage. Damn it. One 
Once we get out of the barbecue here, it won't be so bad. So who do we got left? Dallas Infiltrator. Infiltrator might be able to kill this guy. Yeah, probably. At least destroy his side anyway. Sure. Guess I was lucky that time. I guess so. Gonna lose control. It's the stealth bomber moving now. Sorry, I was trying to swing the map back around again, but I messed up. I messed up real good. There we go. Take a little drink. A little drink of some root beer. I don't drink no alcohol when I'm playing games. Actually, don't drink alcohol at all. Not anymore, anyway. Some stories about when I was a kid, though, I'll tell you. Holy crap. Surprised I'm still alive. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, hang in there, buddy. Warning, heavy damage. If we can push them off this hill and force them down here, I'd be happy. I only have four hits that time. That's good. Spitting fire. I know it's not the best position to be moving into to attack this guy because we're better at longer ranges, but we're going to do this. Look at that. Even with everything, we're still dropping in heat. Uh, I'm going to leave the tag arrow off because I want to use it on some of the bigger guys at the back. Alright, well he's got a clan XL, so he's not going to die. But shredded his side. That's bullshit. I'm taking some serious hits. Reporting heavy damage. That ripped up a bunch of armor. I'm under heavy fire. I'm under heavy fire. Y'all need to stop talking. That should be enough. Nope. That's because we're not on his side. I thought we were on his side. I am a dumb asteroid. Let's back up a little bit. We're going to be overheating. Are you kidding me? Got to move. Order acknowledged. Okay, I dropped under. Couldn't take this guy down. Well, he's only got one of those hyper velocity gosses left, so He's pretty much done. Let's force this hill this time. We're going to crest it, try and sweep these guys off this side. What do we got back here? Atlas K, Talos, this idiot, this guy, Thunderstruck, which we should be able to shred. Bushwhacker could be dangerous depending on what it is. What is it with these guys traveling left? 
he says as that guy turns to his right. Light damage, Commander. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna hang on. We're able to push the hill here. Okay, so this guy is missile strike. This guy's got like no armor. Okay, so we're going to do a multi here. You and you. B will take both missile launchers and A will take these guys. Rotary maxed out and firing. Nice. Target destroyed. Okay, they're down six or five now. Waiting for orders. Who's this guy? Oh, he's trying to run. I want this hill, guys. I want this hill. Give me the hill, please. I want this effing hill. Okay, who's next? Uh, infiltrator, warhorse, or workhorse. God, the heat on this guy, eh? Damn. Well, he's, at least he's in a relatively good position. He was never really meant to have to vent that much heat. God, really? Alright, let's just do this. That's the Shadowhawk, Talos, Atlas. Leave that off. Take some pot shots at this guy's head. I don't think we got a head hit on him. At least it looked like it was. I doubt it. Got the tag on him though. Unknown. Let him know we're coming for blood. With the Talos being hit, the Thunderstruck being hit, and the Atlas being hit all on this side, I'm hoping they try to back up. Damage minimal. Who do we have left? Goofy? Yeah, Dallas. Goofy's heat should be managed now, I think. Where are you? You're over here. Let's leave both of these guys off, fire the rest. The target is confirmed. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Thank you. With our AMS down, we can't afford that guy shooting at us. TBM 30 is no, no laughing matter. 
Okay, the question is, do we want to use Dallas against the Shadowhawk and get it out of the way? Uh, probably not. Most likely it's going to be... If we can get a shot on this guy? Which I'm not sure we can. I think he's down the hill a little bit. Or even a back shot on one of these guys, like the Jager mech or the Avatar. I don't know what our chance to hit this stealth aircraft's going to be. I want to make sure our big gun's hitting what we need to hit it, have it hit. So Atlas is attempting a flanking maneuver, but I don't think he's got a jump yet, so he ain't going to be flanking shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Knocked his own guy down. Alright, Dallas, see if we can hit that uh, demolisher back there. Where is it? That's the arrow demolisher there. That's the one we want to hit. Why have I been shooting this guy? That's why. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Warning. Armor low. I'm under heavy fire. That's the fire support guy that we got to kill. And fire everything on him. Okay, all three of them hit. Beautiful. Those guys are out of LRM range. Wow, we got to be way over here. That just seems wrong for some reason. If we don't do this, we're in trouble. I mean, we're already in trouble, but we'll be even more in trouble. I'll leave them on. Beautiful. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Commander. I'm on my way. Gotta do it. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Gotta do it. If we don't do it, we're we're dead. I mean, we're already suffering pretty bad right now, but. Okay, stealth bomber's gone down here. Did we try to take the Talos head off? That's pretty good chances to hit. It's a lot of armor though on the head.
You know, I don't think that's the choice. I think we've just frickin' hammer this guy. I don't know, maybe not. That's a lot of armor in the head though. Okay, I feel good about that attack. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, I feel good. Feeling good, guys. He says until we lose a mech again. I'm heating up good. Yeah, we're all heating up good. Is that this guy? Yeah, I think so. Plus 30 heat from fire, beautiful. Good thing the fire is burning itself out over here. Okay, we'll have another opportunity to bail out in two rounds, but I don't think we're going to take it. Let's shoot up this Talos. We gotta get him out of here. I want this side of the map. Uh, how's our heat doing? Pretty good. Uh, we're on HE, we're only doing seven damage, huh? I wanna Warlord this. Let's Warlord it. And we'll drop in the LRMs. And firing. Okay, tags on. That should be an Confirmed next turn, next turn kill, maybe? I don't know. Where's Dallas? Right here, right? Yeah. She's going, what, 18? Workhorse on 17. Workhorse can only start up, unfortunately. If she can get a back shot on one of these guys, I think we're going to take it. Unless we can target this vehicle down here. If we can target this guy, which I don't think we can, because he's down a pretty steep slope here. It's kind of flat, and then it drops off. I don't think we'll be able to see him, even if we're up on here. I'm here. Yeah, nothing in a direct fire. Can we get a... Uh... Yep, we can. Oh, yeah, man. Let's give this guy an FU. Now, uh, I'm just going to fire. I want to make sure we hit. And let's do it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? At that high percentage, the big one missed and so did one of the small ones? <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? I'm speechless. Commander. I don't know what to say. I'm just completely speechless. So 
So they got what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven guys left. Yeah, I knew I was going to take damage here. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. Yeah, but we had to kill that arrow mech. It was killing us. We had no choice on that matter. You were the only guy that was in position to do that. But that vehicle has now moved up and semi-exposed itself, so hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we can get uh, Dallas and um, Hellion on that thing and kill it. We can get this thing out of here. A lot of armor. But it's up on the hill now and it's in plain sight. Really? Thanks for showing up. Ow. My heat sinks can't bend fast enough. I'm, I'm yeah. taking damage. The Talos has kind of entrenched himself over there. Let's wind it up. And here it comes. Target destroyed. F U. Affirmative. Yes, command. All right, soften them up a bit. Let's back up a bit. On my way. Uh. Got a thought. I got a thought. Just gonna have to hang on for a second though. Yeah, you gotta run, man. Good to go. What the fuck? I don't know why it does this. Good chances to hit. It's not going to be a kill though. That won't be a kill either. He's got lots of armor. Um, Oh man, 14 left in the CT, are you kidding me? Sprilled full sprint GTFO man. It's going down. We need this fucking hill. We need it now. Roger. That hit something good. Uh, 
Okay, he's unsteady. Let's finish that guy up in a second. So who do we got left? Dallas Infiltrator and Workhorse. Talos, Bushwhacker. This guy's going to die in a second. This is the other guy that we got to worry about. Stop! Internal structure damage. It's a good thing most of our uh, the missile launching mechs were taken, or vehicles were taken care of really early. There's very little missile left now. So if the AMS mech goes down, I mean, not that I want it to, but we're not in a position where we absolutely have to have it right now. Of course, that being said, it'd be nice if we did. That stealth bomber is going to pose problems for us. No, I thought he had an XL, but I guess not. Juicy. See if we can claim this guy. All right. Well, maybe not. Standing by. He shut down again? You're not going anywhere, buddy. Thing's going to cost me too much to fix. Look at this thing. The worst thing is that the advanced AMS is... Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. It's fine. The AMS Mark II is okay because uh, we got lots of those. All right. Who do we got? Mastodon. So, your left side is more intact than anything. Keep getting out of there. See ya! do this. Alright, here we go. On target. That's critical hit. Yeah, but he's not getting out of there, is he? Nope, I think you need to be here. I think we need this guy. You got it. Nicely done. Reporting vehicle to support. Reporting. All 
All right, that's direct fire. So let's get into there. I'm thinking about Talos now. Direct fire on this guy. Uh, let's leave this off. Let's leave this off. Uh, yeah, we better. And fire the rest. Okay. Okay, what next? Nice. Good shot. Okay, your right side. That's not going to do it. Something more like that. Uh, let's have a look around here. 27 on the uh, Jaeger. Seven Atlas, twenty-seven Gorgon. All right, let's fire the Jaeger mech. I think that's a back attack. Yeah, it is. Okay, a couple hits. It's really hoping for some kind of ammo explosion or something, but you never know. Oh, Bushwhacker's up. Yeah. That one was a bad one right there. Damage minimal. That guy's the asshole whacker. That's the one that we had with all the inferno. He's only got three turns of firing before those infernos are gone, so that's a that's a good thing. I think those are self contained too, so I think even if you destroy them it's not gonna do a lot of damage. This guy Thunderbolt 10, Plasma Cannon. Okay, so it's not so bad. Should be able to take care of the TBM 10. Um, going to flank the Talos with Infiltrator. Dallas? I don't know yet. Where's this Jagermech going? Okay, he's facing us now. Two missile, two ballistic. I don't know if it's those, those, those are short range or what they are. LRM 20. As long as we keep our back to them, we should be okay. Got our AMS working again too, which is really helpful. Damn it. They're pushing. Just fire on them. Okay, tags on. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's unstable, which is bad for him. Shit, this guy's gonna fire. Please don't fire at my uh, archer. He's gonna shoot at the archer. shooting at the archer. I know he is. Because he can get a back attack, that's why. But we'll see. So they got eight guys left. Like, we haven't taken out a whole lance yet. Come on, buddy. Figure out what you're doing. Oh man, this has been a good fight so far, but they still got some tough guys left. We will have the height advantage against those guys in the valley, which is a bonus. Even against the stealth bomber, I hope we still get a height advantage. 
But I may push Dallas over there to see if she can get a shot at that stealth bomber. Because if we can kill him, then I won't have to worry about him three turns from now. Yeah, I knew it. Fuck. Wow, this Talos is almost done. I'm receiving you. Wait, where is he target? Where is he? I'm here. It's that side, eh? Okay. Screw it, let's go everything. Reporting critical hit. Okay, that should do him in for next turn. Copy. That's your target right there. Let's leave the medium laser off, fire everything else. My guess is that was an ammo explosion. Enemy down. You got that right. Was not expecting to kill, but I'll take it. Yeah, the thing I just noticed is that all five of these lances were all full strength. I just... I don't know why I'm just noticing that now, but it's just like they're all full strength, which is kind of nice. Good to go. Can you shoot anything? Like if we take... You can't shoot anything. You got it. The heat is cooking my internal structure. Yeah, well, about that. Looks like it's going to be a goofy kill. Um, I might use uh, Infiltrator to target that. Uh, maybe not. Gorgon. I was thinking about going after the Gorgon, but... Yeah, I want to put Goofy in a position where we can strike this avatar next turn. So I'm going to come around here. I'm going to strike this guy this turn. A um, little bit overheated. Leave both LRM5s off. Let's go with the rest. Um, I want to multi this. Let's multi-target this. Most of these are going to go to CT anyway. I want to do this. Oops, not this. This. Multiple targets confirmed. Okay, we got the kill. How do we get plus 82 heat all of a sudden? Fuck you. Not anywhere close to there. OK, 
Okay, a Gorgon. That stealth bomber's like disappeared over there. I can't multi target, unfortunately, so we're going to go after this guy. Don't know if we got the tag on. Don't know if we got the tag on. All right. Yeah, those missiles must be the must be short range. So we're gonna get Dallas to multi-target. I want to get rid of the Shadowhawk this turn, and we're gonna target the vehicle. Hopefully, we can claim them both. That would be nice. Workhorse has got a Lerm 20. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Let's go this route. Ooh, 41 hitting that guy. Nice, 104. Okay, move over here. Nineteen, huh? Thirty-three, well that's a little better. Maybe we get lucky, hit the side. Yeah, a few points. Hmm. Almost out of rotary image, ammo, image. Um, Let's go this route. And firing. Confirm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That'll do. That will. For now. Oh honey. Yes, Commander. You ain't getting away. Okay, we're going to switch the battlefield around now to this way, just for a second. I, understand. I believe you do. Let's burn through the side of this guy if we can. Almost done with the uh, HE ATMs. I understand. Yes. Enemy down. Gotta find that stealth bomber now. There he is. Okay, still can't see him, but we'll hit him with these guys. Hit this guy with this guy, this that is. Okay, Atlas is still full strength. Could still be dangerous. It's really a stealth bomber that we need to kill though. Let's just get over here. Okay. Minimal. 
Wow, this is the toughest battle we've had so far. Good thing they weren't all clanners. No eyes in that stealth bomber, huh? Yeah, a couple points. Can you get a direct line of sight on anybody? Oh, ooh. Don't have much ammo left, but uh, do you mind winding that rack up for me, please? Yeah, use it all, please. Thank you. All right, guys, let's finish this up and go home. Standing by. Let's make sure we're all in ATM range here, or AMS range, that is. Fire those off. Last bit of HE, here it comes. He's going down. Scored a critical hit. Out of LRM. Couldn't have happened in a more perfect time though. Because now he's unstable. And we can attempt this. Fire it all. There's a knockdown anyway. Don't know if we got a headshot though. Oh, we did. Shit. This guy's back for more. Oh, man. He's going to go after um, our AMS mech. You watch. It's going to come right on the AMS mech. We're going to lose our side. Yeah, it's not easy in those battles and you start off in the lower hell with no room to maneuver. It's kind of, um, I want to kind of say it's a cheaty map because theoretically you should be able to like back up or do other stuff, but not letting you do that, forcing you to stay in this narrow, having this narrow valley approach like that is really annoying. It's not like you can jump anywhere and get away from the enemy either. You're stuck there until you push that hill. It's really the only thing you can do. I mean, at least we did it. We lost two mechs getting up there, but at least we got up there. Oh, nice. I can fix that. Let's take a shot at his head, because why not? Doesn't matter. Oh, we got his head! <laughs> Pilot lethal damage. This guy's in a freaking perfect hiding spot. Nothing. Got 
got to push them. The only way we're going to get a shot off on them. And he vanished. It's a safety stance. Come on, safety stance. Really hope Mastodon didn't die. It's not like we have, we don't have replacement pilots, but that would be that would be the first pilot that died in this match or in this uh, playthrough. We got a shot in this guy anywhere? Still nothing. Ah, uh, I gotta be back here. I don't want him to be shooting at this guy. That's a nice chance to hit. Did we kill him? We did. There it is, folks. Alright, well, 285,000. That will not even come anywhere close to what we uh, need to repair our mechs with. Uh, workhorse. Okay, well, he's not dead. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that was uh, not very nice. Sorry, Mastodon's not dead. Uh, I don't know. This is going to be a major repair. It's a good thing all the weapons are still intact. Um, yeah, although we lost another set of sensors, trackers off this guy, gunnery support A. We have fire control system Artemis sticking around still, so that's okay. Slick Suite we can replace, um, but these guys we can't. All right, so not so bad. Uh, Hellion once again with the massive kill total. Beautiful. All right. Okay, well, what's the difference between, this guy's got drum jacks and hydraulic fists, the 3S has got what? A regular Gauss rifle rather than a heavy Gauss rifle. Okay. Uh, I think I, if we ha we have to do that, we got to sell those too. Unfortunately, four Gauss rifles. Long Tom, I don't think there's going to be anything here. That we'll need regular tag R24s, two of them. C3s. I want to get around, playing around with these guys, but it's just a matter of getting enough of them gathered up. Um, enhanced imaging, XLs. Gunnery support B, two of them. Well, that's a possibility. I'm just going to drop that in for now. Four prototype double heat sinks. I'm wondering if it's start if it's time we start building more energy based uh, mechs. Eight arrow. Wait, do we have incendiary arrow ammo? We do have inferno ammo. Yeah. Guided too, eh? Uh, I'm going to take that Inferno ammo.
I think at the moment that's probably the best way to go. And I think we should have brought the uh, arrow mech on this one. All right, let's confirm this. So one, two, three, four Atlas parts. That's nice. Talos part. Anything good here? Core that we can sell. A couple of melee hands we can sell. That's three patchwork materials. That's kind of nice. And then nothing else. Yeah, we got ripped off. Okay. Well, we didn't lose any mechs, but we... <laughs> Uh, a million and a half. So it'll be 1.3 million after we what we paid it, what we, what we got in reward. Oh, man. We got the C-bills. We got the parts. Actually, I was thinking while we were loading this in, what we should do, um, and I know you guys are probably screaming because I got the Atlas and everything. It's like, ah, oh, why are you getting rid of the Atlas? I probably shouldn't. What I should probably do is is try to choose an Atlas... 7k one missile try to choose an atlas we, where we can combine atlas and um, yeah atlas and um, um, so we can if we build an atlas have it so that's the atlas so it's got the atlas so it's got the arrow and AMS on it there it is right there it will be the s7 Compatible with Kraken, AS7KR, which is here, and the S3. Let's go to Assault here. That's the King Crab, Fafnir. Yeah. So this guy's got... What's the benefit of the Kraken? Solaris mech. Um, one ballistic. This one's got two ballistic. This one's got more point hard points on it. Like, it's got four support points. Let's go with this guy. It's ready this one. What's the cheapest parts here? S3? Use both of these guys? Or should we use the Kraken in this one? This is cheaper. But this guy is the one that's got the Gauss rifle, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go with this one. Huh? Wait, what? We used an S3 part? I guess so. Oh yeah, it's because I, yeah, right, I clicked on it. I thought I had to confirm each one. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at this guy, see what we got here. Looks like most of it's intact, which is kind of nice. It's going to cost us a lot to uh, get up and running, though, I think. What's the repair? 658,000, which is, isn't that bad. We're going to want to put Clan Endo on here. We'll leave the regular XL for now. The melee hand can come off. Uh, nothing else, eh? Wow. We need a core. It doesn't need to be big. He had a 400 before. I want to put it in. How much? Will, I just want interested to see here. Yeah, 4 million to put the uh, regular or the Clan XL engine in. Um, what kind of core do we want? That's the question. We can just put a regular 300. It won't be fast, but it doesn't need to be fast. What's our speed at this this point? 4.7, which isn't too bad. 3.20, I think, is probably still a 4.7, right? No, a little better. Still 4.7, but it's a little better. Marginally better. It's a difference in weight. 12.5, 15.25. It's still going to give us a lot of tons of uh, 
Max the armor out. It's a million. All right, let's just get it repaired. We'll worry about the armor and everything else later on. Let's get her into the base. Let's get it going. Confirm that. All right, guys. So... Night Gear is going to stay in rotation, but I think we're going to pull the arrows off this. They're going to go on to the Atlas. Uh, I didn't check to see if these were on the same torso. Should have done that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to... I'm going to sell a ton of stuff between episodes. Uh, I might sell... Uh, probably going to sell the uh, two grand summoners that we have in storage. Um, just we have the sea bills, but we'll see how it goes. We're not going to be back in business for quite a while here. Uh, what do we have that's quick that can we can get back before the end of the month? The lone wolf we can get back. Night gear. Let's bring these guys to the top. Um, so I'm thinking next episode we might be able to pull off another mission with like five mechs. I think there's a three and a half skull here. Let's get the Zeus up. That's important. And that's all we would be able to get. We just get those four. Bring the Atlas up. Uh, Direwolf. Orion. Archer. Archer. Probably this way. Yeah, we'd get these three back before the end of the month. And we'd have one more mech, which I don't know if there's enough to pull that mission off, but we'll figure it out. If I don't think it is, we'll probably just jump planets. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.